morning. It is a Sunday morning I'm recording this. Um, so I would like to do an update on my health. Um, so I still have gut issues like the SIBO and possibly low stomach acid. So I still get bloating quite often. Even though I'm gluten free and dairy free, I still have some degree of bloating. But if I have dip dairy and wheat or gluten, then the bloating is worse. If that makes sense. However, fatigue levels have massively improved, providing I'm getting decent amounts of sleep. Um, I've been doing health affirmations as well for my health, as well as taking herbs and supplements. Um, so, yeah, um, so I'm making progress, I can actually do some kind of exercise now as well, um, like I've used the gym a bit, I've, I've, sw I've swum a few lengths, have to rest in between but still good yeah it's still progress and I like doing my yoga and well I tried Pilates the other day but I have to admit I was struggling and then yesterday the day after I felt like I'd accidentally injured myself but it's, it's eased off it's it's okay um it was my hip and my thigh and I've got um hypermobility in my hips and my elbows um, but it hasn't ever really caused me a problem I'm not one of those people with EDS that dislocate thank goodness <laughs> um, my herbalist is treating the Lyme disease with me um, and her try we're trying to work on the gut but obviously I need to be strict with my diet again I went for a month I cut out sugar and grains and my spots cleared up but as you can see they're back i mean it has been worse than this it's been like all over here before and up here but it's mainly here for some reason but um so i'm, I'm going to be starting that diet soon again no grains no sugar no shit basically <laughs> um it's quite hard although she said i could have quinoa and I think actually that is a grain, but but I'm allowed that one. Um, so, yeah. Um, and um, I like writing, so on and off I've been writing. Um, that's something I've been able to obviously keep up, even at my worst. I'd, I'd be able to do a little bit of writing here and there. So it's nice that I've got that. Um, so I'm quite creative. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing. I can actually do some exercise. And um, I take this, you see, for my thyroid. I was right all along. My thyroid, yeah. I see a private endocrinologist. And he prescribes me levothyroxine, 75 milligram a day. And um, since I started taking it, it's been noticed, noted by my dad how much better I'm doing, <laughs> um, which is brilliant. Um, but I had to go private because the NHS weren't treating me. And uh, a, a lady in the pharmacist who spoke to my mum about about it and stuff knows knows that there's this issue with the NHS and thyroid stuff that there's people that aren't getting treated and then one of my friends I was chatting to the other day she said in Australia they don't have people with ME because they treat people for the thyroid and I'm just like oh my god I was fucking right all along yeah and Lyme disease if you've got it it can trigger thyroid issues and gut issues <laughs> um, anyway I haven't caught interestingly I haven't caught one of my son's colds in over a year 
Like nothing last last winter. I didn't catch anything. I'm thinking this is fucking amazing. I do take vitamin D regularly. Um, so obviously that's going to help. We found out my uh, my zinc is low, so I need to take that. I keep forgetting at the moment. I'm a bit forgetful. Um, my B12 has probably dropped again because I haven't been supplementing. But I say I wear iron patches. I haven't got one on at the moment, but you can get little patches. Um, off of Anne Rita Nutrition online and um, they're just like little pat square patches and you absorb the iron from them so that's been a game changer for me as well and I've been getting less dizzy because of it <laughs> it's like well hey how did all these improvements happen because I persisted I took matters into my hands and you know went private basically private endocrinologist got a herbalist who's also a functional medicine doctor um and i would recommend it if you're going through anything similar and that's it that's my health update